Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you're going to learn another cool layering trick in PowerPoint. Originally, this was supposed to be just a two-part series and because we've been getting some good response from our subscribers, we thought of extending um, this tutorial series to the third part as well. And what you're going to learn today is this one. You might have seen this kind of an effect where a part of the image seems to be jutting out of the background to give this beautiful visual effect. This is a very common technique used in magazines, advertising banners, etc. And it feels as if a part of the background has been cropped off without affecting um, the objects in the picture. Actually, that is not the case really. The way it is done is, you might have seen, sorry, let's go back here. You might have seen that this is a separate object and this is actually a text box, a rectangular box we created using auto shapes. And this is an image which we have isolated and layered on top of uh, this box. So that is how we create this. And it is a very interesting uh, effect. And let me show you how to do this from scratch by going to uh, a new slide and here we have two components here one is the image and the other one is the box and it's very easy to create the box all you need to do is to go to auto shapes menu pick up the rectangle remove the outline and apply a gray color go to shape fill go to gradient and use this one called as linear right and this is the same thing that you can see here it's, it's very simple and once you have this box created, you can write the text. And that is how this bit is created. This is where I would like to talk a little bit. Uh, first of all, our sincere thanks to Peter Kratokville. I hope that that is the way the name needs to be pronounced. This person has put in some very useful high quality images in this site called as publicdomainpictures.net. The work is truly commendable and it is a very good resource site for anybody who wants to create presentations because you, you find tons of good quality pictures. Thanks a lot, Peter. And thanks a lot to this model as well for uh, creating these wonderful set of images. Let me delete this here. And now when we create this image to layer on top of this, there are two ways we can do this. And let me make a duplicate of this and I'll show you both the ways. One way to remove this background is to use an option under format, under colors called as set transparent color. When you click here and click on the white space, you can see that the white space becomes transparent. While everything looks good on this white background, things change a little when you put this same isolated image on top of a colored background. Let me show you how. Let me resize this a little bit. Cut. Let us go to this uh, box we have created earlier. And as you can see here, the transparency has not really worked properly. And that is how it usually happens. And in such finer areas, parts of the white uh, background still remains giving it a very ghostly appearance and even here you can see parts of uh, this credit card where there was some white color applied earlier had actually gone back to being transparent so that is so using set transparent color is not really the nicest way to uh, isolate images isolate backgrounds or, or images from the background. So I'm going to delete this one. Let me go back to this picture. And a better way is to remove background using this option called Remove Background available in PowerPoint 2010 and PowerPoint 2013. I have got a separate tutorial available which shows how to remove background. Nevertheless, I am going to do this here. So what I'm doing is I am moving the bounding box slightly so I can get the entire image available for me to uh, take. And then there are certain portions that also have uh, been selected 
to be transparent because of this uh, i mean which is indicated by this purple color i want to reclaim that and for this let me go to mark areas to keep and click on the image and just drag it across this uh, photo wherever that purple patch is and that area is claimed click on the outside and you have got a very clean isolation of uh, this image now i can always resize cut go to this and paste it now i can keep it here and as you can see here this extends beyond the background and that is how we create this beautiful effect now this kind of uh, technique is normally used in contact us or thank you pages i want to show you some example templates taken from our powerpoint ceo packs where we have this contact us um, layout created and this is one such example here we show three different contact details and you can also have this icon replacing any of these icons to create this slide it's a very useful template and all the work is done already for you you just can replace the sample text with your own text to complete this slide let me show you another uh, example of this thank you slide as you can see here you can replace this with your own photo and you can replace this uh, sample text with your own text and another example is this one where we show you can show the company logo here instead of this text and naturally you can lead the eyes of the audience to your contact details and the last example is this one which uses the metaphor of providing the key to customers problems by of by way of solutions here there are four products just to serve as a review of whatever that was presented during the presentation these example templates were taken from our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 and it takes a lot of time and effort to create professional quality graphics if you are a busy business presenter you may not have all the time required to polish your slides to such perfection you can always select any of the templates from around 1600 that are available in powerpoint ceo packs all of them are fully editable when you can replace the sample text with your own text to create business slides that are professional in quality in record quick time hope you liked our tutorial on powerpoint layering effects if you want to learn more such tutorials if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills or powerpoint skills or if you want to more watch more videos like the one that you have just seen you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy present